Some of it might be edible. What? I think, I think I can see some uh, non burnt bits here. <laughs> see? Don't need that. I love. I love. Don't love your baking though. Soon. What do you mean soon? <sighs> Twelve litres. I think we're being a bit over the top. What? Well, don't know how long we're going to be here for, right? Right. Hey, dude, yeah, what's up? Yeah, 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 we got in last night. Airport was a ghost town. Flight of the fucking phantasm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quarantine central over here at our little COVID squat. No, 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 we're fine, we're fine. Negatives all around. Michelle too. She says hi, by the way. Hi, Adam. Hi, Michelle. Yeah, I'm free. You know, free as anybody who made the timely decision to quit their job at the beginning of a global lockdown. No, no, it's nothing yet. You? It's a fucking cemetery out there, man. Nobody's hiring. Might as well just sit tight, wait for all this shit to blow over. Hey, Mum. Hi, how are you? How's home? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Just settling in. Yeah, it, it's nice here. A little bit small, but we'll get used to it. You can't go out much anyway. Yeah, crazy days. Mm. Just working from home at the moment. It's pretty lax. Yeah, Fabio says I can work from anywhere. Says I'm indispensable. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm kind of done with the magazine. With Munich. Ryan? Yeah, yeah, he's good. A little bit lost, but... He says hi, by the way. Two internships, a degree, can't even get a job at fucking Tesco's. Oh, I'm starting to think Sunak was right. Maybe I can't do anything. Don't do that. You can do a lot of things. Like what? Right. You're creative. What does that even mean? It means you can't just give up, okay? If something will come along, it's happened before. It'll happen again.
Gypsy One for this televised address. It is now almost two months since the people of this country began to put up with restrictions on their freedom, your freedom, of a kind that we have never seen before in peace or war. And you have shown the good sense to support those rules overwhelmingly. You've put up with all the hardships of that program of social distancing because you understand that as things stand, and as the experience of every other country has shown, it's the only way to defeat the coronavirus, the most vicious threat this country has faced in my life. And though the death toll has been tragic and the suffering immense, and though we grieve for all those we have lost, it is a fact I've been looking at some flats. Oh yeah? Where? Uh, London, Bristol, Manchester. Moving to all three. Could do. And it's thanks to your effort and sacrifice in stopping the spread of this disease that the death rate is coming down and hospital admissions are coming down. And thanks to you. Let's make the right decision. RNHS Don't want to rush into these things. Many thousands of lives. And so I know, you know, that it would be madness now to throw away that achievement by allowing a second spike. We must stay alert. We must continue to control the virus and save lives. I miss travelling. Yeah, me too. Next year. <laughs> What's that? Uh, nothing. Just Adam. Mm. How's you doing? Yeah, good. His parents are away at the minute, so I might head over in a bit. Is that even a lot? Can I come? Hmm? Can I come to Adams? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'll ask, but... But what? I just don't think it'd really be your thing. My thing. You know, hanging out, smoking weed, playing video games. Well, why wouldn't it be my thing? I don't know, just with all the masks and the restrictions, I don't think you would be keen to... What? To break the rules a little bit. I think I'm boring. <laughs> what? No, I just thought you were more conscious of that sort of conscious. stuff. Conscious? What the fuck? Look, I'll ask, okay? I'm sure it's fine. No, why wouldn't it be? What is this? What's up with you? Nothing. Nothing. It's just. I don't know anyone here. It's hard to make friends when you're in. What about Adam? He's an old friend. It's not the same. What about me? Okay.
You good? Look, I'm sorry about before at the restaurant. Sorry. You didn't mean it. Sorry. It's just my stomach, you know. Sure. You managed to make an appointment? I'm not able to take as many calls at the moment. I just, I just feel so trapped in this place, it's... Well, what's wrong with this place? Nothing. Sorry, nothing. Just... Look, when I... when I get a job... <sighs> Fuck. Conference tomorrow. Hmm? They're announcing the new measures. All oh, right. Good. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sinking. Could start looking at flats. Why? Why? What do you mean, why? I mean, why do we have to keep having this discussion? We never stop having this discussion. I want out, right? Soon. Fabio! Hey! Hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Um, we're fine. Just getting by. How are you? How are things up there? Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cases are still really high over here as well. Mm -hmm. mm. Sorry, sorry. Um, could you just hold on for a way off to? Oh. No, uh, just out for a bit. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, no, just uh, just my boyfriend. Things are getting a bit cramped in here, you know. But I'm good. Um, I'm excited to hear about this new position. London, right? Munich. Uh, no, um, no, that doesn't change anything. Hmm. 
face to face, or, or should I climb down your back so we're, we're butt to face? <laughs> Michelle, talk to me. What is that to talk about, right? You know. You mean the fact that you want to break up with me? I don't want to break up with you. You mean the fact that you think I'm holding you back? I never said that. <laughs> you mean that instead of just talking to me, Ryan, like a normal fucking person, you disappear in the middle of Christmas fucking dinner to go see your friends. No. Sorry. Sorry, did I miss something? I just... I just think we need a bit of space. That's all. <laughs> you don't think I want space, right? Look around. I'm not exactly the honeymoon suite. What do you mean by that? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. It's just... Fuck. We're only meant to be here a week. Yeah, well... Lockdown has a way of prolonging these sort of things. That's not my fault. I'm not blaming you, right? Fucking feels like it. Why are you being so defensive? What are you talking about? You're the one complaining about the flat. Look, I'm sorry it hasn't met your expectations. You didn't really have a choice, did you? Didn't see your parents putting this up anyway. Fuck you, Ryan. No, fuck you. We are lucky to have this place as it is. If it were up to your batshit fucking mother, we'd be living in a fucking chakra den in the middle of fucking nowhere. I'm sorry. It's just... Moving here, I thought that it would feel like moving on. But now we are here, and it feels like we're just stuck. And you think breaking up is going to solve that? I didn't say that. That's what you meant. Isn't it? You can't keep living like this. Like what? For you. For you. Me? The fuck have I done? The fuck haven't you done, Ryan? 
You go see your friends. You don't let me know when you're coming back home. You're fucking stoned all day, every day. Bullshit. Is it? This is my life too, you know. Precisely. This is your life, Ryan. I'm not having this. Moving here was just as much your decision as it was mine. I never said that it wasn't. Well then maybe it was a mistake. Moving here, maybe... Maybe we should have... What? I mean, we barely even knew each other. What the fuck, Ryan? I just... Maybe we weren't ready. Do you even want me here? What? Do you want me here? What do you mean by that? Simple question, Ryan. Mum, I taste it. <laughs> no. No, it's perfect. 